Hi everyone, I'm Gemma Mighty with Gemma Insights and this message is for our beautiful Geminis. <laughs> this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Gemini. This is for the Gemini man, the Gemini woman, okay, and so forth. Gemini, you are being guided to be as intuitive as you always have been, but this time around your intuition is going through a peak season. In other words, it's going to be like rising and rising and rising, getting bigger, getting better, getting inclusive, okay? You will be a lot more observant, more intellectual, now more than Ooh. And there is the confirmation. <laughs> All right. I don't know why that happened because I literally did not touch anything. So I don't know why everything fell down like that. That is crazy. Usually I look at that as what I'm saying. Yeah, it's about to go down. All right. So Gemini, listen, first thing first is I need you to know, like, this is your life and love energy for the month of july 2020 okay this is for the gemini man and the gemini woman and it says here gemini you know there's a lot of sensuality going on here you know we have divine sensuality so that means you're getting i'm gonna put that up a little bit sorry you're getting more in tune with your emotions and your sexuality and feeling really good feeling like you want to make love or feeling like you are in love or in deep strong life okay some of you could be um kind of like pinpointing you know um what you like in a person or what you don't like in a person you for some of you a great hand of you may even suddenly feel like all these strong emotions that you once have had about a particular person um or any pre preconceived thoughts that you may have had about a particular person is nowhere near what you feel right now so, this person could have been like, um, you could have been really attracted to this person for the past few weeks, right? And this month, you will discover like, yeah, I don't think we're a good match. Like, I'm not interested, okay? Some of you, <laughs> but some of you may feel like, hmm, I want to date you, but I know that, you know, there's going to be people judging me like my mom, you know, my dad or you know, people that I'm really close to, they may not necessarily approve of you. And I'm going to tell you, Gemini, it is totally up to you. You know, of course, you should know this by now, but it's totally up to you who you choose to deal with and who you choose to be involved with. You understand? Like, there's some people who will criticize your relationship, not because this person is just naturally a bad person but because they just simply don't want you to be happy and so for each and every last one of you gemini's everything is going to play out differently so again for some of you this is going to be like wow you know yeah i'm not interested you know like i thought i was i thought you were everything that i wanted i was i thought i was attracted to you and they may slip up and do something or say something that is totally against like your belief system or something that you're against perhaps and it may touch suddenly make you realize that you're not really attracted to them like you thought you were okay or <laughs> they may somehow remind you of your ex or maybe people from your past will um have constant criticism towards like your choices um in the people that you date or in your sexuality there it'll be like a lot of criticism and the reason why i'm saying that is because there are about three or four planets going retrograde in capricorn okay and you know we have jupiter retrograding in capricorn we have um pluto retrograding in capricorn we have saturn retrograding in capricorn we also just literally have um a bunch of eclipses back to back right and venus was also retrograding in your sign for a while right and for some of you you know the rose colored glasses were on but now that venus is no longer retrograde and you're taking these rose colored glasses off and we're heading into the last two weeks of mercury retrograde 
you know, a lot of truth is coming up to the surface. So a lot of you will be feeling like you want to discuss your truth or you want to speak your truth. So whether this doesn't, it doesn't matter if you have your sun, moon, or rising, or Venus in Gemini, or maybe if, you know, if you're like me, you have some other planet in Gemini, right? Like you may have like your Pluto in Gemini. You may have like your, um, you know, you may have Jupiter in Gemini. So all those things matter. You even might have Chiron in Gemini. And that's all about healing. You know, if you never had an opportunity to kind of like speak your truth, this is the time to speak your truth, Gemini. Okay? So, guys, this month I took an opportunity to um, dig a little deeper into our mammal and animal energy. Because I feel like the month of July is... Not just going to be about transformations, but it's going to be a very sensual standpoint. Something we come to completion with or we come to an agreement with. Something that can heal us or make us feel better. Or something that can help us evolve. But in either way, it's going to be a planet that really allows us to kind of be... Not planet, did I say that? It's going to be a season where it kind of allows us to be ourselves, okay? And... You know, it's up to you. If you're willing, if you're feeling like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to do this. I need to speak my truth. Then it's going to happen, you know. But the good thing that I love about Capricorn's energy is that, you know, you'll do this with grace. No regrets. You'll do this in a very authentic, real way. Some of you may come off a bit aggressive. And some of you may just be real about it. It is what it is. Like, you know. You're amazing. I want to be with you. And then for some of you, me, you may have the other conversation. Like, yeah, I want to cut this. I want to call this quits. Like, I'm not digging you right now. Okay? Now, for each, whether if you're breaking up or teaming up with someone, or, you know, no matter what happens, whether you're reuniting or getting back together with someone, or whether you're breaking up with someone, this is still the time for you to be intuitive, observant, and intellectual. And we got that confirmation here with the fox energy. So this is your first animal energy here. And it lets you know you are being guided to look beyond the shadow side of any relationship that means your business aspects your you know prospects or anybody who is um trying to do business with this can be romance okay this can be a romantic relationship this can be family your siblings again there could be potentially you know like capricorns tend to you know when i think of all these planes going retrograde in capricorn i think of like not only they're totally goal oriented or business oriented however they can secretly sometimes judge people and i think that's what you might even be going through it may not even be your family or be your friends it can be you secretly um, having these like these ideas about this particular person or this situation having these thoughts or these insecurities building up about this particular situation or this person okay or even this relationship someone may have came on to you you know making you feel really good at some point and then all of a sudden you know you're feeling like they're being distant or maybe you're feeling like they're being cold-hearted maybe you're feeling like and like they're not giving you enough attention or enough love you know whatever it is right with this capricorn energy being here we are being challenged to seek the truth you know to take care of business one thing about capricorns they don't quit they don't give up they will go and go and go until they come to succeed until they gotten what they came for that is when they'll give up is when they achieve something okay so whether this is you know i also feel like for you gemini that you know your mind won't totally be on your finances like in a way of making more money but then but your mind may be on finances in an aspect of um okay let me pay my bills or let me let me pay back this loan you know let me pay off my credit card let me pay what i owe if i owe someone fifty dollars or thirty dollars whatever it is like so your mind may be rapidly going because again with capricorn's energy comes responsibility so instead of you i mean of course capricorns love money and they work super hard to achieve it but for you gemini 
your fine your mind will be on your finances but not in a way to make money it will be more on the responsible tip like oh let me pay my rent let me pay my light bill let me pay what i owe like that type of thing the responsible side of you okay which will by the way make you feel a lot more confident in who you are as an individual and make you feel more confident in your decisions as a person okay and that's probably why i do see fertility here as well because i feel like there are going to be like this this um this like this new way that come over you that says no i'm stepping into a new me you know i'm a lot more mature now than i was three years ago i'm making better choices better decisions and even with the judgment, you know, that a lot of people have been giving you lately, people that's criticizing you or saying things against you, right? You know what's best for you. And I feel, I really want to applaud you, actually, because I feel like it's taken a lot for you not to kind of snap back at them. And you're doing everything possible to just simply be the bigger or the better person. And with that being said, it shows that you're ready. You're ready to evolve to this new person that is full of wisdom and, you know, full of joy. You know, I feel like you are taking your time to just embrace everything that is happening for you. So Spirit is letting you know, that's right. You're doing the right thing. You are on the right path. So keep going. Don't allow people's negativity to try to stop you from doing what you need to do okay again with the fox energy here you know it's saying to be intuitive to be observant and to be intellectual you are being guided to look beyond the shadow side of any relationship open your eyes open your mind and your heart to the limitless opportunities around you so gemini when it comes to your career there could be some opportunity that come to you um this can be a raise this can be a different environment this can be a different position this can be an opportunity to possibly make more money but again because you're kind of reluctant this season and your mind is even though you want money of course like who doesn't right so even though you want money you're not you don't have this spirit or this energy like um being greedy or overbearing this season it's more of well you know whatever gets me to the point where i can be able to pay my bills and take care of my children like i feel like that is your main focus family your relationships you know your marriage those are the things that are most important to you at the time and the month of july so okay like i said venus is no longer retrograde in your sign so communication can be better love can be better so definitely expect to meet someone new if you guys have been you know out there looking for someone and you haven't met mr right or mrs right keep your eyes open because they may soon arrive quicker than you thought okay like i said there's gonna be some grand opportunity either in your career life or in your love life okay um i feel like again some of you may feel like uh, for those of you that have been dating someone for a while or may have felt like you wanted to um reconcile with someone something that may have recently started off really juicy and delicious right or had you feeling really good is now making you withdraw okay now you're realizing i need to take a step back okay you're being a lot more aware again that is where your intuition is taking off okay also gemini this is a highly social um this is a highly social month for you okay so keep in touch you know with People that support you, that love you, that want to uplift you, your friends. People that you're not really that much friends with. You'll be surprised of the energy that they can offer you that can help motivate you, okay? So, yeah. But this is a social, a highly social month for you. And, um... You may, again, you may be kind of busy, though. You may be kind of busy running around, taking care of your business, traveling locally like going to different markers or going away for a few weeks at a time or you may even find yourself feeling like you need to get away just even for a weekend um 
coming back, taking care of your business, going back away for another weekend. But you may feel like you're constantly um, having to run around and take care of some business. Again, you know, with, with that Capricorn energy comes with a lot of responsibility. So expect to be really busy. Um, expect to be busy even socially, romantically, okay, and even financially again. Even though you, you know, some of you may have your mind on making more money, but for some of you, your your goal will be on just simply making sure that your bills are paid or making sure that, you know, everything is covered for or that you don't owe anybody anything. So if I were you with the last few weeks of Mercury Retrograde, I will actually jump and do things ahead of time like i'll give you an example like i made sure all of my bills were paid for the month of july because at the end of the day i know mercury retrograde it can backfire if you choose to take care of other things before you take care of your bills things will backfire guys so be very careful about being impulsive and spending your money lavishly on things that don't really matter okay now you may also decide to take a back seat also, when it comes to your career, okay, again, you may feel a bit more humble, like, you know what, no, I don't really need that right now, I'm going to stick to what I've been doing, okay, and this is also, you know, with Mars going into Aries, you know, this is kind of pushing you or making you feel like you're not really being yourself these days, because normally you would take a position like that normally you would dive in and just jump in to help someone or to to take on that supervisor role or to get that extra cash but right now again that your mind is not on that you're you're more focused on the broader aspects okay or um even focused on your community as well you know you're like hey like i'll help y'all it's not a problem i don't need any change from you i'm okay so you may find yourself being extra helpful because also Capricorn's energy is all about being resourceful. And for the past month or two now, we have had a lot of eclipse with lunar and solar eclipses between Cancer and Capricorn. And so you, your a lot of your focus will be on your home environment, your relationships, your children, nurturing the things that you love. And the Capricorn aspect is like, okay, let's take care of our responsible side. You know, what have we not you know dealt with recently you know is there a relationship that i need to deal with is this someone that i need to set straight you know is it a record that i need to set straight do i is there anything that i need to address at this time you are being guided my love to keep going okay to keep pushing to keep going like i said love is going to be huge for a lot of you, all right, you may feel like you have to make some sacrifices. You may not want to because it did came out in reverse, all right, but you may need to make some sacrifices. So instead of you traveling, you may have to put your traveling goals on the back burner for a second because, again, with that Capricorn energy, you're being a lot more responsible at this time. So, you know, even if other people have asked you to sacrifice your personal things or um, things that really matter to you for the sake of their pleasure, yeah, all of that stuff is going to be put up at a back burner just for a second. Just enough time for you to kind of gather your thoughts and take care of your business. All right. So, Gemini, let's get into your wisdom deck, my love. I had some wisdom cards here. And we are going to see what your soul is yearning for or what your soul needs to know at this current time. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to put that back. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus, and Gemini, overall life and love with some and energy for the month of July 2020. This is for the Gemini man and the Gemini woman. Thank you so much for your beautiful energy. Uh-oh. I already pre-shuffled earlier, but I just wanted to give it a little more love. Is that all right with you? All right, so here we go. Oh, guys, it came right back out. That's crazy. You saw this car fly out. I'll put it right back. I shuffled, I shuffled, I shuffled, and it came right back out. This car recently came out for another sign. I can't remember right now who it was, but it came out for another sign. Oh, okay. It says, I release any beliefs, Aries. I think it was Aries, guys. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. I release any beliefs 
that no longer assists in my soul's growth. Okay. New beginnings. I'm changing. I'm developing a new sense of purpose. I mean, coming like this whole new me. <laughs> Absolutely. Change. Wow, guys. When I say, guys, if you have Aries um, in your birth chart somewhere, please check out their video, guys. You could be cross-watching from Aries. Maybe you're dating in Aries. Please check out their energy, guys. Oh, my God. What? This is crazy, and I shuffled. I bring a state of perfect harmony to my world, and I do so without judgment. I don't know if this is Aries that got this, or a lot of my same, the cards that I've been dealing this month um, has been coming out a lot. And to have like 40 or 50 cards in each deck, and the same type of cards keep coming out for some zodiac signs is just crazy to me. So, forgive me for, like, acting shocked. Like, I am shocked. <laughs> so, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. I'm not going to feel guilty for wanting a better life. I'm not going to feel guilty for wanting the best life possible. I'm not going to feel guilty for wanting someone who loves me for me. I'm not going to feel guilty because I deserve it all. I deserve to be happy. I'm not going to walk around like everything is about you. And I'm not going to walk around like everything is about me. But I will walk around with perfect harmony and balance and feeling really at peace. Because I know in my heart that I'm doing all the right things, okay? And I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So it is what it is. If it takes me to separate myself, to get out this relationship, to, you know, divorce my husband or whatever it is. You know, I know that my husband still calls me. I know that he misses and loves me. But right now, I just need to focus on my goals. You know, if it's really meant for us to work things out, then so be it. We're going to do it. You know, if me and my spouse is really ready to move forward and do some major things together, then it's going to happen. But can I leave a piece of advice with you, Gemini? Please wait until about the third week of July to make any drastic decisions. Moving in with a person, telling the person you want to divorce them, you know, getting married at this time. Just please try your best to wait at least until the third week of July, guys. Okay, wait until Mercury goes direct. And that way, guys, you will have a lot more clarity on what you need to do and how you need to handle it. So, I love you, Gemini, but I gotta go. I'm running out of time. It's going tick, 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 okay? Subscribe to my channel, guys. I would love you to have you guys as one of my subscribers. You guys have a great week, a great month, wherever you are in this beautiful universe. And please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. I love you. Stay safe out there, guys. Be good to yourself. Bye.